inviting the audience on a visually stunning journey across Kenya. Tracking across the northern frontier districts, we discover enduring traditions, religions, diversity, and extraordinary landscapes. Right now, where I stood right now, we call it Nere Triangle. Look at the map, at the extreme edge of three countries, which means the border of Kenya, Somalia, and Ethiopia, where they meet at this angle there, you can see, look at the map, at the extreme target, even if you put the satellite, to locate exactly the border of here we are now, and this is the stone planted with uh, the British, uh, the colonial masters. Following the history of this place, the area was mapped between January and October 1954. Yes, there's a story, and that's where these things were being planted. Since then, up to date, Somalia on the eastern side, Ethiopia, northeastern side, and Kenya, northern side, northern part of Kenya. And here we are. My name is Noor Ismail Nozol, diesel engineer, filmmaker, storyteller. Join me as I share my passion for building trucks and traveling to the remotest part of northeastern Kenya. bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos. Geographically, Mandera is a border town located on the northeastern Kenya, shared a border with the two countries, Somalia to the east, Ethiopia to the north and the only river divided the two countries Ethiopia and Kenya is called River Dawa the smaller tribes occupying small portions in the vicinity of River Dawa, the area is mainly inhabited by Somali tribesmen known as the Morin, Dugudia and Gari, between whom the grazing rights are divided. the year the population is found either along the stretch of country near Rivadawa or 
centered on the wells of El Wak near to the southern extremity of the area where camels, goats, sheep and cattle can be watered. Look at the map, that's a river which flows, divide three, three countries, it's very historical, uh, in, uh, meaning uh, three countries, Somali, Kenya and uh, Ethiopia, and it's the extreme end of all these three countries, remarkably, this is a river flow from this point to Ethiopia now, so even say where the gentleman stands is the limit, I can even put it, but not the limit was that stone, and here, you can say sharing the same river, Ethiopia and Kenya. And then I think you can see Somali are pumping this water on their country, but I think they're sharing this, this same uh, uh, river. Even the cultural value, I think Somali, Ethiopian, you know, at the border here, they're sharing most of the, their cultural value because the people are living together. It's are divided. For most part of the year, the population is found either along the stretch of country near River Dawa or centered on the wells of El Wak near to the southern extremity of the area where camels, goats, sheep and cattle can be watered. The young man whose diet is almost exclusively camel's milk, sick goat, pasture for the camels in the interior of the area and return the water once every three weeks during and for the time after the rainy season. When water can be found in a depression and rocky pools in the vicinity of the hills. Right now, where I stood right now, we call it nearly three hours. Look at the map, at the extreme edge of three countries, which means the border of Kenya, Somalia, and Ethiopia, where they meet at this angle there, you can see, look at the map, at the extreme target, even if you put the satellite, to, to locate exactly the border point here we are at now, and this is the stone planted with uh, the British, uh, the colonial masters, Following the history of this place, the area was mapped between January and October 1954. Yes, that's the story. That's the year these things were being planted. Since then, up to date, Ethiopia on my on, a, on East, uh, Somalia on the eastern side, Ethiopia north eastern side, and Kenya northern side, northern part of Kenya. And here we are. So it's really remarkably, a remarkable place to pay a visit. It's a bit bush bush as you've experienced through our coming in. It is what it is. We are now at the limit where three countries met, meaning Somalia, Kenya, Ethiopia. T junction of this.
This is the Overland Adventure Travel Show and right now here and the particular spot we are here specifically at the Mandera Border Control with Mandera Border Points and here we can see on the far side this is the Somalia La even their flag you can see from far distance this is Somali and this is Mandera Kenyan town of border with the, which is link with the Somali land. And here we are, there's not much to anticipate. It's still, it was still under that tension, 15 years tension about this border was not never been uh, official to be operational. But now I think we just heard from one of the big the commander of this point here say that they have just summarized just today, this morning, about the opening, official opening of this border point. But as per now, it's still closed. Maybe they will open it very soon. Maybe one time we'll also decide maybe to go to we can we can now move freely to Somalia as well and we wanna pay visit as tourists as well. We just move as tourists and see the place and see how beautiful also Somalia is gonna be. There's not much to say but that's fantastic so so far so good. It's really calm and peaceful as at this point and then it's a good news this morning. Really good news. Fifteen years of tension day to day we just now want to put peace and back on this. That's fantastic. We love it. And there's not much to comment. There's not much. Uh, there's no extra news. We are at Monday right now. Try to not suck up the gate and we'll give it an update maybe later. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this is the, the, the brother, brother Al Aziz. People know him from Congo, Duruba. This is the man. We are with him. This is Abdel Aziz with the brother Ramadan, which was also citizen of Mandera. People know Mandera in and out. One day we reach Mandera, please try to reach them, they will be able to explore, to show you the magic places of Mandera and why not. So far so good, thanks for watching and let us meet on the road to Garissa and Wajia. Thanks. bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos.